and welcome to a very special edition of Kentucky Brew Reviews. Uh, I'm Special K, and now we're, we're finally doing this Megadeth beer that I have personally been wanting to do forever. Yeah, and we finally a, found it in Indiana. A Tour de Mon. Uh, it is a um, Belgian-style Session Ale. Uh, Saison, sorry, Saison Ale. It's 4.5% alcohol by uh, volume. It's by Unibrow, or Unibrew, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Unibrow. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been looking for this beer forever because I'm a huge Megadeth fan. Uh, we finally found it in Indiana, uh, so we picked it up. If you didn't know, uh, this is a reference to a song off their album Euthanasia, uh, which has yeah. the babies hanging yeah, the say. clothesline. It has the best album cover out of all Megadeth. Yeah, all the Megadeth. Maybe of all music of all time. Oh, it's just cap. That's good. Uh, this has an extremely long Dude, shelf life. Why is a foil cap? Like, it has a really long shelf life considering uh, 2018 is when it expires, and we picked this up like a month and a half ago. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it was. I paid... Ten dollars for a four pack, and I'm okay with it. Because <laughs> yeah. I've been, like I said, I've been looking for this beer forever. Now, another funny story is uh, Dave Mustaine is a raging alcoholic, so I thought it was hilarious when he came out with the beer. That's another reason I had to have this beer. Okay, so the smoke was flowing out, and it was just beautiful. I just so when I say he's a raging alcoholic, is in that's why he got like one of the reasons he got to keep that metallic and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but also, um, when I saw him do a video with this beer, it was just sitting in front of him. He never took one drink of it. It was just sitting in the glass, and he was just talking about it. He's like, no, nope, I'm not doing I it. I mean, that's good for him, though. Yeah. If he's an alcoholic, he shouldn't be drinking, but... Uh, you got some sediment going on. Bro. I know. I'm so excited for this beer. I'm sure it's going to be very disappointing like all the other bad beers out there, but... No, that's okay. Not. Uh, the artwork's cool, As long cool as it's too. better than Trooper, I don't care. Uh, they have another Trooper. We have a different, the other alternate Trooper. Uh, I don't know what it is in there. Artwork's cool on it, though. All right, so it is a uh, nice honey color. Oh, look at all the floaties. Oh my God, did you roll yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez, he's got like hardcore chunks in his ambiar. Yeah, I don't I'm have good any. Good for you. Uh, yeah, nice honey color, uh, medium carbonation. Head is slightly off white, nice and thick. Oh my gosh. It smells nice like a Belgian. Beef. Yeah. Straw hop, so you're gonna get more of a floral. Right. Uh, nose on it. That smells good. So this should be a super drinkable beer. That's what they're going for on this one. Uh, let's try it. If I don't get a giant chunk in my throat. Uh, that is surprisingly good. I feel like I just got hit by a bouquet in Springtime Meadows in my throat. It's but definitely Belgian. Good. You get that kind of like coriander mm -hmm. kind of in there. Um, it's kind of almost on the dry side. Now it feels light, light, almost watery. Um, it's a session, so it's supposed to be, uh, sorry, Saison. Um, and it's only 4.5%, so it's to be expected. It's not like super flavorful, but it's highly drinkable. I think this might be the best band beer so far. It is the best band beer so far. I'll go ahead and say that. I have no problem killing this. Um, it finished up nice and malty. Nothing offensive in the flavor. There's not a whole lot going on with this beer. It's really sweet, though. It's not super sweet. I don't know. I, Maybe I, was, I was drinking an energy drink right before this, so I might be yeah. getting some of that going on. But Get a little of my, my bottom in there. It's not super sweet, but it does have a nice maltiness to it. Mm -hmm. Really carbonated, too. Like, mine's still going. Oh, look at that. Look you got that. so much sediment. So much sediment. That's going to be fun when I drink the last of this. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. As I was saying, it's nothing like spectacular, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to let my, my love of the band affect my score of the beer. Uh, and actually, I like this brewery a lot, too. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, they have also Le Fin Mondeau, which is another popular beer they have. They have Canadians and their French names. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this, and I'm going to give it give it a half point. For price? No, not for price, because right. it's, it's... No, I'm giving it a half point for the, the artwork and oh, then yeah. the, the band. Right. Uh, going with it, so that means I'm gonna go ahead and give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, seven point five. So seven, really, it's a seven beer. I'm giving point five for having cool artwork, and I like the bottle design. I like the fact they put foil on it too because it's in a four pack, so that way it's mostly covered. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big deal. So I'm gonna stick with a seven and a half. Um, pretty drinkable. What do you think, Mingo? See, I would have given it an eight actually. Like this is a really good. Um, solid beer, but how much did you pay for the four pack? Like ten bucks or something? Ten bucks. I'll pay ten bucks for it again. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a cool, like, and it's novel and everything. I would not pay but... ten bucks for an Iron Maiden beer, though. Because they're, yeah. well, we already know their beer sucks, but I mean, I'm not, I like Iron Maiden, but I'm not, I'm a bigger Maiden fan. Yeah. So just 
I don't know. I, I think it's really good. Um, the floralness and the sweetness, and it's just so, like, I could demolish the whole four pack and, like, be set for It's super easy to drink. Like, yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a problem. Uh, would you recommend it? I would just solely because, like, you can say I had a beer that beer, you know? But, uh, I mean, it's also a fantastic beer. Like, a lot of those novelty beers, just like, okay, that's cool. No, for a novelty like beer, crap, like, we've had a few you know? novelty beers on the show, and they're just like, meh. Yeah. This one's pretty cool, and I, I think it's... Well, so, I mean, it's a good brewery, too. Yeah, it's so. a really, yeah, it's a really good brewery, so that helps. Would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. At least once, you know? Let's try it. Would I buy it every day? No. Um, I'd recommend it. Uh, if you're if you're into Belgian style ales, like really light, good summertime beer, mm -hmm. um, something light like after dinner beer. Yeah, this would be a good one. Um, or almost a, almost even like a dessert beer. It doesn't have any fruit notes, but yeah, it'd be good for that. All right, well that's our episode. If there's something you like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And special K. Now I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.